When our world is threatened, one team is ready to launch. <gasps> Did he say launch? Uh, no. I said launch. Uh -huh. The meteor's heading straight for us! <gasps> It's giving off some kind of energy. I didn't do it! No way. This September... I think we got superpowers. And that's why I wear a hard hat. I feel the need for super speed! I'm a wrecking ball! Surf's up! <laughs> Look at your paws! Now the clumsy pup shoots fireballs out of his paws. A new breed of heroes. Superpowers are real. Hits the big screen. We're gonna need a new name for ourselves. How about the Paw Patrol? But more. But just a little bit extra. Yeesh. How about the Mighty Pup? <laughs> Those should be my superpowers. Coming in hot. Take them one by one. Oh my goodness! I can talk! <laughs> I have so much to say! Give me that! It's showtime! Well, well, well! Humdinger! He looks different than I remember. <laughs> Alright, puppy! Playtime's over! Can you go up against one of us? You go up against all of us. Let's go! We're super. I'm never gonna get to sleep. Well, you're probably more tired than you. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wendy's is open until midnight or later. So give in to those cravings. Get that baconator. Give me one honk if you want a baconator. <laughs> Let me get that pink pink for six strips of bacon. Oh, there it is. When I say bacon, you say ain't a bacon. Woo! Let me get a toot on the mega. All right. Uh, okay. Now, when I say... Dude. Sorry. When the craving strikes, go night mode and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Baconator. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. Ah. Our breakfast. Oh. If you want a better breakfast you'll never forget, Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. train and tomorrow's my birthday <laughs> a birthday train full of toys i just can't believe you really believe that sure i do it'll come don't hold your breath because there's not going to be any little engines or birthday trains coming here it'll come i know it will i know it will i know it will i know it will Thank you. 
work. again? Yeah. Well, a little work will get you going. Engines such as I should never get up this early. It's bad for our chug. Oh, that's silly, Farnsworth. Well, what would you know about it? You're just a little switch engine moving real engines around the train yard. Hey, what do you mean, real engines? Stop squabbling! We can't waste a minute! What is the assignment that I shall do so extremely well? You take that passenger train over the mountain to the town. Consider it done, old man. Keep them rolling, Tilly. <coughs> Come on, Pete. Careful, kid. Don't bust a boiler. Ha! Are you kidding? Hold on to your smokestack. Boy, Tilly sure fired up this morning. For Pete's sake, Pete, watch that smoke. Yeah, yeah. Where to today, boss? See that freight train? Over the mountain to the town. Nothing to it, boss. Be back in a flash. Oh, no! <laughs> Chili, where's that milk train? <laughs> Hey, aren't y'all forgetting Jebediah? Shh! I don't want to wake him up. But Jebediah pulls the milk train. Not today. I have a plan. So you still want a train to pull? Hey, I'm an engine, aren't I? Settle down, girl. I'm on your side. Fact is, honey, I wouldn't mind if you were pulling a train for me. I got a little hitch in my chug along this morning. But you better get going. Thanks, Georgia. Shh. Jebediah, get that milk train rolling. On my way, Tower. What kind of joke is this? It's no joke. I can do it. You're too little, kid. What do you know, you overgrown stack of lumber? She is not too little. <laughs> Big blowhard. What y'all got for me today, Tower? That load of toys and stuff over there. 
Oh, happy day, the birthday train. But it's empty. Rolo the Clown is loading now, so get going. Yes, sir. Don't you worry, Tilly. You'll have a train of your own someday. I hope I can. I hope I can. Are you ready? Raring to roll, Rolo. Okay, Jeepers. That is, I am pleased to announce that it is, uh, that it's time to... Uh... Oh, come on, let's go! I could do that. Are you still dreaming? You and that dumb train. It's not dumb. It's worse than dumb. It's not even real. It will come. I know it will. I know it will. She said. I don't know. Something went spoiling, and, and I just stopped. I sure am sorry. I knew it. I knew it. We'll never get over the mountain. I knew it. Does it hurt? Oh, no, Jeepers, it doesn't hurt, but I can't go either. Uh, uh, as director, uh, that is head, that is leader of the playthings, or uh, toys, uh, I'll go for aid, uh, assistance, uh, uh, help, SOS kind of thing, you know. Well, how about if I just signal for help? I know. How about if we just uh, signal for help? Doot, doot, doot. Something's wrong. It's Georgia, and she's in trouble. Doc! Doc! Train in trouble! It's Georgia and the birthday train! There's no time to lose. Say toot. Toot! <laughs> hmm. Well, you'll be all right. It's just a bent spungamonger. There won't be any mountain climbing for a few days. But, Doc, we've got to get the birthday train over that, uh, uh the thing, that big, uh, a lump, that, that mountain t -t -t today. I'm sorry. I've got to get Georgia back to the roundhouse. But, but, but Why not just flag down another engine? Yeah. Farnsworth and Pete will be along soon enough. Right! <laughs> 
Of course, that's what I'll do. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I know an engine will come along. I'm sure it will. I think. Maybe. <laughs> See? I told you so. Uh, did I know or what? You're lucky, that's what. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I, uh, 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 she, uh, 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 we, uh, we, uh... Oh, what this clown's trying to tell you is that our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side of the mountain won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I pull you. <laughs> I have just pulled a fine passenger train over the mountain. There I was, pulling smoothly, so fine people can enjoy the view, and so other fine people can sleep comfortably, and so other fine people in the dining car can eat. I pull the likes of you. <laughs> indeed, 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 indeed. <laughs> aren't gonna make it. Well, he's not the only engine in the world. I didn't think he was the right one for us anyway. Ah, that sounds more like the right one. This time, be careful. Oh, see, wait, stop! <laughs> To it. On the other hand... Hey, what do you clouds want? Well, our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat, unless you are to be helping us, huh? You want me to pull you? Listen, kid. Only this morning I pulled a freight train with a very important printing press over the mountain. It'll print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read about important things. I am a very important engine, and I don't pull the likes of you. I do not. I won't. told you there wouldn't be any engines to pull us? There will so. There will not. There will. There won't. There will. There won't. You'll have your old chug back in a couple of days. Poor Georgia. Yeah, but now's your chance. My chance? Right, for a train. <clears throat> Tower. Now what? Let me take the birthday train over the mountain. You really want to do this, don't you, kid? I think I can. I think he's gonna go for it. Never. Nix. No way, no time, not now, not ever. No, no, no! There won't be any more engines. There will. There won't. There will. There won't. Read my beak. No more engines. Uh, excuse me, please. Oh, uh, sure. Right. Won't. Will. Won't. Will. 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 Hey, quiet down. We're trying to talk. There was a, a train. So we need an engine to take us over the mountain. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, could you, uh, uh, could you, uh, uh, what they said? Why, I'd love to. Yeah! Yep, I'd love to, but, uh... But? But my ch uh, just isn't what it used to be. And going over the mountain is too much for me these days. 
Sorry. Just can't do it. 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 I just couldn't do it, Tilly. If you can't, and Pete and Farnsworth won't, well, then there's nobody to take them. There's you. Yeah! There's me! Goodbye, Tower, in the train yard. Like I said, no more engines. Oh, no. Now we will never go. Oh, dry up, Twinkle Toes. If we get going now, maybe we can make it to a toy store in time for Christmas. But, but, are you quitting? Listen to me. Quitters never, uh, well, they, they don't win. They can't, don't you see? And winners, they never quit. Easy for him to say. But who's going to pull us? I think I can. Oh, great. Now we've got a miniature choo-choo who thinks you can pull us. I think I can. 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 When your feet are dragging on the ground, stand up and face whatever you're afraid of. When pandemonium is all around, then you find out what it is you're made of. If you will just believe it's true. Then there is nothing you can't do. There's not a mountain that you can't climb. There's not a river you can't make it over. There's no tomorrow that you can't find if you try. I know you're gonna make it.
was worth it! Wendy's is open until midnight or later. So give in to those cravings. Get that Baconator. Give me one honk if you want a Baconator. <laughs> Let me get that paint paint for six strips of bacon. Oh, there it is. When I say bacon, you say ain't a bacon. Woo! Let me get a toot on the mega. All right. Uh, okay. Now, when I say... <laughs> Dude. Sorry. When the craving strikes, go night mode and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Baconator. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. Tyler. Ah. Her breakfast. Oh. If you want a better breakfast you'll never forget, Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. You don't look. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me nine consecutive years, shame on me. B but dad, I'm turning ten today. You turning ten? Wait, wait, shouldn't you moved out or something? N no, I don't move out until I'm eighteen. I have eight more years. Eight more years? Junior, just go and get the gun. I'm going to end it already. Wait, 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 no, dad. Look, you're not going to celebrate my birthday. You're not going to give me a cake or anything. Oh, you want a cake? Yeah, I want a cake. Oh, you, you, you want a cake? Well, come get your cake. All right, Junior. Here's your birthday cake. What, Dad? That's not a birthday cake. That's a Reese's cup with a candle on it, and has a bite taken out of it. And also, where's the other Reese's cup? It comes in two of them. Look, I ate it. Okay, so, look, it's the thought that counts. Now, blow out your stupid candle, make your wish, do your gay little dance, so I can hurry up and go back to my room and watch TV. Well, you're not gonna sing me Happy Birthday. <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Merry Christmas. Now, blow out your damn candle. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Oh, he's 10. He's a big boy. Oh, he's finally 10. 
Now I'm going to my room. Well, Dad, you're not gonna, you, you didn't give me any presents? No, I didn't give you any presents. Look, I paid for this Reese's. That's a whole dollar. Damn, be grateful for once. God. Oh, my dad forgot my birthday. Oh, it's the worst birthday ever. Oh, shut up, baby. What, Junior? Why are you crying? Shut up. Because my dad forgot my birthday. Do you even remember my birthday? Uh, yeah. When is it then? Uh, uh, April Fool's Day because your life's a joke? No, it isn't. Look, why would we even celebrate a day that you were born? Look, everybody cries on your birthday, okay? Because you you just make the world sad. Who's that on my birthday? Oh, it's a hit, man. I have to go answer the door on my birthday. Wow, wow, no one else gonna offer? Uh, hello on my birthday. What's wrong, Junior? Just come on inside so I can complain. Okay. Yeah, I got here first. I did it. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> so, what's wrong, Junior? It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah dude, you, you can't, can't be sad, sad on your birthday. birthday. What? what? Dude, what? you stole my line. Yeah, I know. It's my line now. I took it. Welcome to the Cody Show. I don't need any of you. I'll take all of your lines. I don't even care. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I was in a mood. Let's just take it from the top. What's wrong, Junior? It's your birthday. <clears throat> Joseph. Oh, so it's my turn now. You're not going to talk over me now, dude? So what's wrong, um, dude? Uh, you can't be sad on your Turk day. What the f*** is a Turk day, Joseph? Dude, I stuttered. I meant birthday. Turk day sounds nothing like birthday, Joseph. Uh, you have like four lines. Why don't you just remember them? I'm sorry, dude. You know what? Screw you. I'm out of here. It's well, fine. You were going to leave anyway. Joseph, you only had a few lines. You were supposed to say, oh, what's wrong, Junior? You can't be sad on your birthday. And then I was going to say, well, my dad never remembers my birthday. And then you're going to say, neither does my dad. And then I was going to say, you don't even have a dad. Junior, it's fine. We could just do it without him. We'll just, we'll just take it from the top. <sighs> Again. Okay, so for this scene, Joseph will be replaced by Jamal. All right, action. <clears throat> what's wrong, Junior? It's your birthday. Yeah, what's poppin', homie? Well, guys, every year my dad forgets my birthday. Oh, shit, that's messed up. Oh, wow, Junior, I wish I had that problem. My parents all- Shit, I need some chicken. Uh, okay, well, like I was saying, my parents always remember my birthday, and not in a good way. They always surround me with all these presents and cake, and it's like, whoa, I'm just one man. What am I going to do with all that stuff, you know? I mean, just give me a card, and not one that's full of money like it always is. <sighs> Fucking assholes. Yeah, well, I didn't even get a cake for my birthday. What, you didn't even get a cake? Well, not much of one. Come on, Ken, let's go get him his present. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Junior. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candle, Junior. Blow out your candle and make a wish. Wish for anything in the world that you want. You could wish for my clothes to come off. You could wish for your clothes to come off. You could wish for Ken's clothes to come off. Anything you want, as long as it's one of those three things. <sighs> anything I want. I wish I had different parents. Okay, that wasn't one of the three things that I... <sighs> Didn't I already wake up today? What's going on? Dad, Dad, Dad! What the hell you want, little nigga? Hey, Junior. Happy birthday, son. Yeah, happy birthday, son. Son, you're our son. Wait, wait, you're not my parents. Now, we've been over this, Junior. Your daddy's chocolate and your mommy's vanilla. And when you mix them together, you get a turtle. What? Yeah, I had blood just to make sure. Well, no, you're Cody's parents. No, silly. Cody is your little friend. We're your parents. What's going on? What's going on is it's your birthday. Now go downstairs and wash your hands, silly Billy. Wash my... Why do I have to wash my hands? A clean hands is a clean house. We don't want to spread around that Ebola. Yeah, I got a cousin with that shit. Damn shame. Uh, uh, okay, I, I guess I'll wash my hands, I, I guess. Yeah, hurry up and wash your hands, little nigga. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? Why is Cody's parents in my dad's bed? So why do they want me to wash my hands? I'm not washing my hands, no. Surprise! surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Julia! Julia. Oh, thank you, guys. I mean, it really wasn't much of a surprise because you told me to come down here, but... Did you wash your hands? Uh, yeah. Let me smell them. What? Use more soap next time. 
Okay. Uh, why does the cake say Happy Accident Day? Oh, because you were an accident. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your daddy was pissed. Yeah, there's a hole in the rubble. Mm-hmm, yep, he even pushed me down some stairs. Yeah, my ass went flying. Yep. I, I almost killed that, but... Yep, almost, yeah. but it, it didn't work. And then we gave birth to a little turtle boy, and that was you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, uh, why does the cake say 70? I'm turning 10. Oh, well the store ran out of number one candles, so I bought a seven instead. If you have a really bad hangover like Mommy did, it kind of looks like a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, why is there two cakes? Oh, well, your daddy and I got into a race war. Because why does the cake gotta be white, huh? Well, because it's vanilla, Tyrone. Oh, oh, it's vanilla? Is that it? Yeah, it's rich with flavor. Oh, so, so the white cake gotta be rich, huh? So the black cake, just a pole black welfare cake, huh? Huh? Uh, no. Oh, okay, how about we just, you know, light the candles and I blow them out? How about that? Oh, well, we gotta light these candles. So what a lighter? I don't know. We don't even have a lighter. Well, how are you gonna light it if you don't have a lighter? Well, I guess there's only one way to light these candles. Tyrone, spin that shit. I. Perfect. It's my son's birthday. Happy birthday! 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 Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! 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 Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Well, well, happy birthday to you! That's right. It's my son's birthday. Blow out the candles, it's time to cut the cake. Cut the cake. Cake's so good, I'm gonna need two plates. two plates. Have to make a wish before it's too late. Sure, My son's man. ten years old, he's a big boy. big boy. We are broke this year, we didn't buy a toy. Oh. It's your lucky day, don't need a four leaf clover. No. Time for birthday, spankings boy bends over. was so lit it lit the candles. Wasn't that song lit, son? I mean, I guess. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'll go get it. Uh, hello? Hey there, uh, I got a call about a fire? Uh, I, I don't think so. Cause that shit was fire. Damn. Uh, okay. Who was at the door, honey? Oh, it was just a fireman. Oh, was our song fire? Yeah, he said it was uh, really, really fire. But anyway, is it time for me to blow out the candles? Uh, 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 hold on, honey. You know the rules. First, you gotta pick the right cake. What, pick, pick the right cake? Mm-hmm. Yep, one of these cakes is full of live bees. What, bees? Yep, mommy has a beekeeper friend who shoved a shitload of bees into one of these cakes. So if you cut into the wrong one, you're gonna get stung. What? What? Yeah, you better choose wisely, little nigga. Yep, so which one's it gonna be? And I'll give you a hint. One of them's full of bees, and the other one's vanilla. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with this one then. Oh my god, we raised the races! I can't believe this! Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, I the bees! Oh my god! Oh, 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 damn, damn. Huh? But Junior, are you okay? You spaced out for like 10 minutes. Cody, the weirdest thing just happened. Your parents were my parents, and, and they were throwing me a birthday party, and, and, and there was two cakes, and, and they started rapping some birthday song. Oh my god, they sang the birthday song? Yeah, and it, and it lit the candles because it was lit? Mm -hmm, it, yeah, it does. And, and, then, and then there was two cakes, and one of the cakes was full of bees? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, they really do that. I usually pick the right one, but my dad still yells at me anyway and calls me a racist. Well, so, so what was happening? Well, you see, Junior, this is a hallucinating candle, so whenever you blow it out, it actually lets you live your wish for a few minutes. And that's why I wanted you to wish for us all to be naked, but instead you wish for different parents, so I guess you got to see what it's like to have my parents. Oh, well, I mean, Cody, it was pretty bad. It, it, it was just a really bad birthday with all the bees and stuff like that, but at least your parents care about you. Yeah, I guess. But, um, I mean, I still do wish my dad remember my birthday. Well, you, you can have that cupcake. I don't really want it. Happy birthday, Junior. In new 
SML store is now open. So go check it out at smlmerch.com. Catch me some food. Wait, what's this? You are here. Hey, look, it's me. Meet me here. Creepy hut in the woods. Okay. note saying to come here come in so who's here it's me ah! i thought you died no they tried to kill me my stupid son shot me in the head good thing i'm hard-headed <laughs> but the van exploded i jumped out big one well listen i don't want to talk to you you got me in trouble what if i told you i could make you rich i'm listening how about this time instead of kidnapping jeffy we kidnap a whole bus full of kids they'll give us like 20 million to get all those brats back okay i like it i like it okay so tomorrow morning go out and steal a school bus and bring it back here all right Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Hey, Danny, can I miss school today since it's my birthday? No, Jeffy, you're not going to miss school. Come on, Marvin, let him miss a day of school for his birthday. But today's Monday. It's the first day of school. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, you can't miss the first day of school. It's the most important day. You guys suck. I hate you. Marvin, I am kind of nervous. I think I have PTSD after what happened last year. Listen, his mom's dead. There's no way he's going to get kidnapped again. Okay. Hey, Danny, after school, can we go to the strip club so I can get my willy wet? No, Jeffy, go to the bus stop. <sighs> Fine. What? Is that a dog in the road? Oh no, 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 no. I hit a poor maroon dog. Why, God? Why? Ugh. Now, how do you start this thing? Oh, yeah, down here. Ah, yeah, listen to that baby purr. Hey, who's at my bus? Hey, get back here with my bus right now. Hey, hey. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man, I don't want to go back to school. I know, I hate it, dude. Well, today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday, dude. It sucks your birthday's on the first day of school. But he gets the best gift of all, education. Oh, I just want to punch Cody. Yeah, you're such a nerd, Cody. Shut up, no one likes school like you do. Oh, look, guys, it's, it's the bus. Maybe the teacher will let you go home early today because it's your birthday. Yeah, maybe, and hopefully there's strippers in your classroom. Yeah, hopefully. Let's go. Hey, where's our old bus driver? He called in sick. Okay. Junior, why you screwball our bus driver? He said Jackie Chu called in sick. But isn't he a kidnapper? Dude, he's a clown. Yeah, he's trying to turn his life around, Cody. Stop trying to profile him. Yeah, okay, but if we get kidnapped, I'm gonna be mad. We're not gonna get kidnapped. We're going to school. Oh, oh he stole my goddamn bus. That piece of shit. What? What? Oh, my bus! Hey, motherfucker! Give me my bus back! Give me my goddamn bus back! Hey. Uh, guys, Jackie Chu's banging on the window. Uh, Junior, I don't think we're going to school. Uh oh. Hey! 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 I'm gonna get you, you motherfucker! Oh. Did you get the bus full of kids? Yeah, I have the bus full of kids. Is Jeffy on it? Yeah, I think so. You think so or yes? Both. Are you sure it's really him this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just bring him back to the house. All right, I'm on my way. So, Marvin, what are we going to get Jeffy for his birthday this year? Well, he's 19 years old and he already has a car. Then why did he take the bus to school? So he can see his friends for his birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe we could sign for an apartment for him. No, Marvin, he can't move out. Well, he's 19 years old, baby. He has to move out eventually. He's in the fifth grade, Marvin. Yeah, he's 19 years old in the fifth grade. Isn't that a little weird? Yeah. Who's at the door? 
Hello? Uh, piece of shit! Piece of shit stole my bus! What? Somebody stole the bus with all the kids in it! But someone stole the bus with the kids in it! Yeah, I need to come inside and use your phone! I'll come inside! Baby, 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 where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? A clown stole the bus with all the kids in it! Marvin, you said Jeffy wouldn't get kidnapped! Well, listen, we just, we just gotta figure out what's going on. So, what exactly happened? So, I was driving the bus, and then all of a sudden I see Baroon Dog in the road. And I stop the bus, get out and check on the Baroon Dog, and then the clown jump in the bus and steal the bus with all the kids in it! Is the balloon dog okay? No, he popped. So everything you did was pointless? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, let me grab my phone. You can call the cops. Here's my phone. It's already ringing. Hello? 911, what's your emergency? A clown stole my bus with all the kids in it. A clown stole your bus with all the kids in it? Yes. Is this some kind of prank call? No, it was a black clown with orange hair and he stole my bus. <sighs> okay, what color is your bus? Yellow. What, like a school bus? Yes. Oh, well, that explains why there'd be kids in it. Okay, I'll tell my officers to look for a school bus with kids in it. But it is the first day of school, so it might take us a while to find the right one. But it is being driven by a clown, so I guess that's different. Okay, thank you. What'd he say? He's gonna do it. Oh my god, Jeffy got kidnapped again on his birthday! Poor Jeffy! Oh man, Simmons, I'm so glad we found this dirt road we can park at. We can just sit here and take naps all day. Nobody ever comes by here. Yeah, we're literally getting paid to sleep. Yeah, this is the life. Wait, hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Oh man, it's the chief. Hello? Officer guy? Yeah, it's me, chief. Uh, me and Simmons are doing so much work, we're arresting so many people. Oh yeah, so many people. Yeah, we are saving lives out here. Well, I need you two to be on the lookout for a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. Okay, what, why? Well, apparently the clown stole the school bus and kidnapped the kids. Okay, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Okay, Simmons, the chief wants us to find a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. He was probably just getting pranked. Simmons, was that a clown driving a school bus? Yeah, it looked like it. Well, time to turn on the wee woo lights. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Simmons, I think this is the stolen bus! Pull over, jackass! You're not getting away! Uh, guys, what do you think he's taking us? Ooh, mini Disney World! Yeah, he's probably taking us to Disney World! I don't think so. Guys, the cops are behind us! Oh shit, the cops! Hold on! What's going on? I think the cops are following me! Well, you better lose them! Alright, I'll try! Hold on, kids! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! You should ram him. What, ram him? Ram him! Wait, okay, I'm gonna ram him. Go, Dad, go! All right, I'm gonna ram him. Three, two, one. Son of a bitch rammed me. Mate, he went to the field. I know, but I fucked up the car. What? The car, I fucked it up. I knew I shouldn't have rammed the bus. Let's just pull over and look at the damage. Oh man, Simmons, the police letters came off. Uh, mate, we got a bigger problem. We got a flat tire. Yeah, but the police letters, though. Now how are people gonna know we're cops? We look like Walmart security. Well, we got the blue lights. Yeah, still not gonna help us stop the bus. Wait, I know where they're going. We could, we could cut them off with a roadblock. Come on, Simmons. Okay, Simmons, I know he's headed this way. So whenever he sees the roadblock, he's gonna stop and ask you to move. But then whenever he stopped, I'm gonna run up and shoot him in the head with my police-issued Uzi with silencer and extended mag. All right, mate, sounds like a good plan. But what if he hits me? He's not gonna hit you, Simmons. This is a cop car, that's illegal. All right. All right, let's shoot some clowns. A roadblock, huh? You ran me, I'm gonna ram you. He's not gonna hit that cop car, is he? Oh, I hope so. Dude, that'd be sick. Yeah, hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Not gonna hit it. He hit it. Ugh, this thing ain't got no airbag. Sorry. 
Sorry. Uh, he hit the cop car. Oh, that was so sick, dude. That was awesome. Ugh, that was the titties. I flew all the way to the front. Now that he's disabled, I'm gonna give him some Uzi. Come here, clown. You're gonna die. Dad, help me! Uh, Penelope, I'm coming. Oh my god, Penelope! How'd you like that RPG, huh? What? You're still alive? Die, man! Uh, oh no, I'm out of ammo! Die, coppers! <laughs> Got it, stupid ass! Get ready to join your daughter, you piece of shit! What'd you say? Die! Uh, stop! Well, I made sure she's dead this time, but I lost my daughter, I lost my partner, and I lost all those kids. All right, Marvin, when Jeffy gets home from school, we can celebrate his big birthday blowout! You do know he's kidnapped, right? The cops are gonna save him, Marvin, and everything's going to be fine. We can have cake, we can blow up balloons, we can open presents, it's gonna be great! How are you so happy? Because, Marvin, I'm trying to distract myself! <laughs> that might be the cops at the door! I hope so! Hello? Hey, Marvin. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Did you find Jeffy? Kinda. Okay, where is he? Um, let me just come in and explain. Okay. Baby, it was the cops! Did he find Jeffy? He said they did! I said kinda. So, where's Jeffy? Uh, wait, is it your birthday? I don't want to give you bad news on your birthday. What? It's bad news? Yeah. Well, no, it's not my birthday. It's Jeffy's birthday. Oh, God! We're gonna have a big birthday blowout! Oh, God! Can you help us blow up these balloons? Oh, God! There's just so many pieces! Oh, God! When Jeffy sees this party, his face is gonna explode! Oh, God! But we have to finish setting up, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster! Oh, God! And I want this party to go perfect, because I don't want to kill a bunch of kids dreams. Oh, God! So where's Jeffy? Well, we did manage to find the bus, and we managed to stop it, but just as I was running to save the kids, the bus got blown up by a rocket launcher. What? A rocket launcher? Who shot that? Jeffy's mom. I thought she was dead! Yeah, we thought so too, but it turns out she only got shot in the head. She didn't actually die. The bullet was just stuck in her skull. But don't worry, I shot her in the head a whole bunch of more times, so she's definitely dead now. There's no way she's coming back next year with a bunch of bullets in her face. That would just be silly. So are the kids okay? I thought we were past this. They got blown up by a rocket launcher. Oh my god, no! Wait, 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 so Jeffy's dead? Yes. Oh my god, baby, I can't believe this. I, I mean, my daughter was on the bus too, so she's dead. And my partner. So oh, mine's not... kind of a little bit more sad if you think about it. I mean, I don't want to make this into a pissing contest, but you know, I mean, your kid was adopted. I actually had my kid, you know, adopted kid, blood kid. Seems a little worse to me. It's gonna be okay. And I'm still at work, you know, I gotta go around and tell people their kids are dead. That's sad. You know, I mean, throw some sympathy my way. Give me some boo-hoos. You know, I'm having a pretty rough day over here. Oh, I can't believe Jeffy died. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Uh, never mind. <laughs> well, oh, great. First my kid's dead and now they're sewing at the door. Uh, I mean, I don't think you can really compare the two, but sure. Oh, can you please answer the door with me? It might be someone scary. How many scary people do you get at your door? Can you please just answer the phone with me? <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. Marvin, it's the clown that kidnapped the kids! Well, shoot him! I don't have my gun! Hi, Mark. Simmons? I thought you were dead! No, I escaped the police car. Then I ran over to the bus and rescued the children. Hey, Dad! Penelope! Jeffy! Wait, but Simmons, where are the rest of the kids? Oh, I dropped them off at their houses, and Junior wanted to hang out with his friends. Oh, good, but wait, 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 wait. Simmons, how did you get out in time? I saw everything explode! Oh, I'll tell you. Watch this flashback. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I gotta get the kids out of the bus! Ugh. Come on, kids, get off the bus! That was a pretty cool flashback, Simmons. Thanks, mate. Come on inside! Alright. <laughs> Baby, guess what? What? Mommy, I'm alive! Oh my god, Jeffy! Thank goodness! Hey, I'm alive too. So that clown's gonna go to jail forever, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Multiple kidnappings and attempted murder. I didn't try to kill anybody. You rammed the cop car with your bus. Well, to be fair, we rammed him first. Hmm, I guess that's true. I guess they do kind of cancel each other out. But still, definitely the kidnappings, though. Alright, listen. What if I can make you some pretty cool animal balloons? Then I won't go to jail, right? 
Hmm. Nice try, but no. Go wait in the cop car. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna just let him walk to the cop car? He knows how to get there. Marvin, now we can throw Jeffy's birthday party! Yeah, he can have a big birthday blowout! And go to strip clubs! Hey, I'm down. Simmons, drive us to the strip club! Uh, we don't have a car, mate. It blew up in the explosion. Wait, if we don't have a car, then how is the clown waiting in the car? Well, I don't know. I Ubered here. I is the Uber still outside? No. Oh, he ran away. Yeah, the clown definitely ran away. This could very well happen again. Wait, 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 wait. So, isn't it kind of cheap that the last movie had a big explosion and this movie had a big explosion? I mean, hey, look, Star Wars blew up the Death Star twice. A actually, three times, if you think about it, if you count the new ones, you know? So, so we're original. We're fine. Let's walk to the strip club. Okay. Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl With yellow feathers in her hair And a dress cut down her there She would merengue and do the cha-cha And while she tried to be a star Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor They worked from eight till four They were young and they had each other Who could They fell in love His name was Rico He wore a diamond He was escorted to his chair He saw Lola dancing there And when she finished He called her over But Rico went a bit too far Tony sailed across the bar And then the punches flew And chairs were smashed in two there was blood and a single gunshot, but just who shot who at the Copa, Copa Cabana, the hottest spot north of Havana, at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. She lost her love. Her name is Lola, she was a showgirl But that was 30 years ago When they used to have a show, now it's a disco But not for Lola, still in the dress she used to wear Faded feathers in her hair, she sits there so refined And drinks herself half blind She lost her youth and she lost the Tony Now she's lost her mind at the Cobra Cobra Cabana The high
Whoa, what is this place? <gasps> My gosh! It's an inverted planet! Excuse yourself, gelatin! I believe the correct term is buried forest, deciduously insulated. I've heard stories about this, but I never knew we lived so close to I one! I bet you can't catch me, Naily! I bet I can! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. There's only one way off this tree. Looks like you're nailed! <laughs> catch me! Here I come! You can't catch me! <gasps> Cannonball! Gelatin, please don't use my bark. Kawabunga! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Nailey, that really hurt, and... Oh, my sap, I'm leaking! Are you gonna be okay? I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I always need liquid in me, or I'll... Uh, you what? Uh, feel... Woozy. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, could you two please stop running around? Nah. <laughs> uh, hey, I found something. I'm mad you killed Bubble Flower! How can you talk? You're about to impale two whole teams! True, but Bubble's life is special. And you know what you get for popping her? You instantly lose flower power. Please don't say that again! Hey, are we just digging in random directions? Pretty much. Shouldn't we dig towards the coordinates we heard from Grassy? You mean 133 comma negative 82 comma negative 7.63? Hold on. That location isn't that way. It's that way! Oh really? Change of plans then. Wow, Flowey, you really know your way around here. Yeah, it's one of the perks of being a plant. We gotta have a sense of direction to point our leaves to the sun, you know? You don't have leaves! <laughs> I'm so glad your vomit got us out of that dungeon. It's just smooth sailing from here. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Nickel. Rocky's vomit isn't eroding as fast as we're falling! What do you mean? If any one of Fuzz dodges the acid, well, tis in the creed. I don't know why you're freaking out, Cloudy. Why not? Can't you fly? Your bandages are gone, remember? Oh, right. Everybody, grab onto Cloudy. Yeah! Hey, Yellow Boy, you advertise for a massive department store, right? Yup! Does it sell emeralds? No, but we have these cheap plastic green toys. Great. Let's- Whoa, hold it. I'm not sure four would like to be cheated like that, you know? But over a year ago, four said you don't need frills to make a feast for the eyes, so that means he's okay with trash. Oh, you're right. Let's turn them in then. Nice emeralds. I love a team that commits forgery. <laughs> Commence forgery, Dream Island! You really committed to winning Battle for Dream Island. Um... Four, does this mean... It means you completed the contest first. You win. Yeah! yeah. Oh, I'm getting super nauseous. <sighs> you guys too? No! You're just a weakling. Wait, I felt this feeling before. <gasps> we are... Oh my god! Monster! Ah! <laughs> hmm, Bossy Bar Golf Ball must be right overhead. You're kidding me, Bozo Brain! The <laughs> golf ball is up there. Seems like it. We must turn around! Agreed. I hate Bossy Butt Golf Ball! But why do we hate golf ball so much? And why do we have so many nicknames for her? Don't ask. Noise means we've hit the emerald! Yes, let's go! Return it too far. Good plan! Everybody, well jump! Hey four, here's your emerald! Hey four, here's your emerald! Wow, 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 wow! A better name than that, you're safe! Wow, I'm glad that went so smoothly.
Never mind. Uh, what just happened? Can someone bring me the loop? Oh, hey, thanks for the emerald. Me and my four teammates with arms were trying to grab one. Hey, but they just took our emerald. They can't do that. Yeah, that's cheating. Rossi thinks it's no big deal. Well, golf ball thinks it's a big deal. Four. Want to hear a joke? Not really. Three. <laughs> there we go. Got it back. Okay, I patched her up. Let me listen. Well, Barfag's definitely unconscious now, but she's not dead yet. Donut, I told you I found something. Could it really be more important than your teammate's life? Well, maybe. It's a hot spring. An awesome place to chill, and hey, we can also use it to refill barf bag. Oh wow, you're right! Bobby, you're the strongest one of us! Go fill her up! Huh? Where am I? Oh my bakery! You're back, barf bag! Yep, thanks for caring for me. I feel great now. That's awesome! I feel really great. Yeah, I bet you do! No, you don't understand. I feel amazing! Okay, that's enough! Well, I think this calls for a celebration. Let's have fun in the pool! Agreed! Cannonball! You mean, cannon spike? <laughs> I want a cannonball too! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're having fun, Spongy! I feel so super fantastic! We've already heard that before, Barfy! I... Wait, hold on. I feel good because the water inside me is warm. Oh? <laughs> yep, this water is warm. Like, really warm. Yeah, and it's super soothing. Murphy, what's your point? Donut, legs don't get this hot without a reason. We could be near a fiery recovery center, maybe? Or something worse? Like what? Time for cannonball number three. <laughs> Time for cannonball number four! I mean, we could be next to... a volcano. <laughs> Imagine that, lol. You're joking, right? Yeah, of course. No, of course not. Run! Up there, there's the hole we entered from. It's that way up! Bommy, that ain't a problem. Huh. See, I nailed that jump. Huh. Ah! It's too steep! Oh, well, Spongy's body has a lot of friction. What? Spongy, run as high as you can and flop onto the grass. Okay. Yeah! Now, Bommy, go run up that sponge. Easy! Woohoo! Okay, Spongy, time to pull you up. <laughs> Gosh, this is kind of difficult. Oh, um, guys, it's getting really hard. That's enough! I'm not letting Spongy get used as a disposable tool once again! <laughs> <laughs> I always like deep fried donuts. Gelatin, that's a little insensitive of you. Dark humor is the way some people cope with tragedy. There's no time for this, we gotta run! Whoa, sunlight. That's right, the only escape from this cave system is overhead. But nobody here can fly. Or you can. I've got my private jet. Oh, cool. Can we jump on? Oh, sorry. This jet only has one seat. But isn't one spongy seat enough for all four of the smaller ones? No. One seat is one seat. And, uh... This is what you get for not remembering me last episode. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping we'd made up for that. The lava just entered this tunnel. We need to come up with a new plan. Fast! I will ignite myself! No, Bommy! No, jump on top of me! My side! 
Cap Bomby, uh, if you say so. Uh, guys, there isn't enough room up here. We're going to make it out of here. Ah, you're gonna nail it. Ah. How to nail it up in our tunnel? That makes no sense. It probably means nothing, but it, is it just me or is it getting kind of hot in here? Oh no, Cloudy, turn around, turn around. Ah. Oh no, I forgot about the acid floor. I don't want to be disintegrated! Claudia, you gotta turn around! Oh no, I forgot about the lava ceiling! I don't want to be scorched! Claudia, you gotta turn around! Guys, we're trapped! The only way out of the fear is the Ken Rogi the part for acid! But the stomach's empty! Well, <laughs> Not if he gets a refill! Oh? Did I just hear you volunteer yourself to get eaten? What? No! Alright, Rocky, you heard him! Don't chop that nickel! Ah! Yeah! Ow. Hold on, what is this? Ah! Holy moly! We made it all alive, Jelly! Oh uh, yeah! Thanks for the ride, Spongy! I told you, there's only one seat! Oh. My. Collagen. There's an emerald right next to four. Let's go get it! Yeah! Here! Impressive! You found an emerald before X did! Team Ice Cube is safe! What? It happened again! Wait! Does that mean I can do the same thing? Here? Amazing! I'm blown away! The losers are safe! Unbelievable! With five teams safe, it's down to beat Dono and Ions to get those last two emeralds! Um, guys, the lava level is still rising. Is this concerning? I think this is concerning. Did we seriously just pass up on an emerald just because golf ball was there? Yeah, but don't sweat it. We might run into another emerald. I doubt it. See? Like, there's one. Oh my cloud! to blow really hard again. I can sense it. I can feel it. I can smell the crisp autumn air. Whoa! Oh, great. You feel that, SB? Yeah, I feel it all right. Don't fall so overhead. We gotta turn around. We just have to. Hmm. Is it me, or is it getting warm around here? Oh, geez, Gulfful. I, um, um, well, um, you know, uh, I no, mean, seriously, I mean, I think- No, seriously, the temperature is 10 standard deviations above normal. And all the grass around me just died. Well, you are pretty stinky, Gulfball. You can't blame the grass for not wanting to put up with that. Yeah! Wait, I know the explanation. A linked lava chamber must be chasing an underground team. They nearly broke the surface, which brought the lava close enough to the grass to heat it to death. But this team clearly values avoiding me more than their own safety. That's highly unlikely. But there's more. If I want this pathetic team to stay underground, lose, and be put up for elimination, I must prevent them from ever breaking the surface again. Aha! The grass over there is starting to die. Not so fast, you dimwits. Dang it. We'll have to try somewhere else. Where's next? Where's next? You want to make your next move there, you say? Well, what if I say no? Oh, no, so there. this is Golf Ball's idea of fun. Yep.
I think we're at the bottom of the world. Well, I sure hope not, because then we can't escape the lava. Come on, little one. Help me dig. All right, well, if not, little one, why not you, Woody? You have arms. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha! Stop you there! Yo, well, I think it's time to stop. You've done this 2,763 times. Yes, and each of these 2,763 dead patches of grass is a beauty. Just look at them all. Wait, maybe they're trying to communicate with me. Yeah, they're telling you to stop. Hmm. They raise a very convincing argument, but it's not enough. I'll continue. Oh, what a pain. Tell me about it. Guys, I can't believe you're not helping me dig. The lava's only a few feet away. It's because it's a lost cause, Balloony. No, hold on. You're a nail. You should have a much better chance at breaking through. <laughs> an intruder sneaking into my underground factory. I need to go investigate. Thor deserves this treasure. Here. You guys were pretty slow, but that's okay. I am too safe. Our final two are Thor up and Beep. Huh? Buck. What do you want? Okay, forget it. I was going to ask you about something, but clearly, you just want to brush me aside. Like when you went to attend Match's dance party. Wait, 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 it's different now! Is it? Yeah, I don't want to associate with Match or with Free Smart ever again. I just want to keep Ice Cube safe from that sort of behavior. How's that going? Oh, well... And don't think I don't know who you were about to talk to. What's your problem with her anyway? What I saw last episode was not how a functional team acts. She keeps abandoning... Well, that's what it was on about. But that's not what I was gonna do just now. Then what were you doing? Well, maybe it's obvious, but that turmoil you saw in our team back then was all because of me. This whole time, I thought I was creating the safe, healthy environment I always wanted by standing up against Taco after she hurt us. But in the end, I only made the team worse for everyone in it. And now Ice Cube doesn't even want to be in it. So, the reason I'm here is to try to actually make things right. I just don't know where to start. I actually know how you feel. It's hard to patch things up after you've hurt people, even once you learn that you should try. But in a situation like this, I think it's best to think about what they want instead of what you want. Instead of trying to make them happy with you, you should just try to make them happy. I is there anything your teammates want that you weren't letting them have? Freedom? Take cover, everybody! Ions, get up! Oh, gag, now it's coming out of two holes! No, no! Lava shower! Gotta protect Ice Cube! And Taco! <laughs> Wait, what? Gotta protect you oh. with my fork repellent. It's multi-purpose. Losers, follow us to safety! Losers, where are... Oh, my mint! How is there so much lava already? Everyone's probably dead! <laughs> Can't dwell on that. Gotta keep going. <laughs> Not everyone's dead. Oh, I don't know what those sirens are for, but it doesn't matter because the lava will kill us! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's nice to pay short for ones. Right, Rocky? <laughs> Woody, though, you're medium hide. Whoa! Thad's lucky, now he's the shortest to fall of us. Enough comparing heights. Now that I'm over halfway through, let's actually try to break this wall. Who could these barbaric trespassers be? Mm. Oh! The 
lava will start flooding the floor. Head for the stairs! Also, I'm sorry for stabbing you seven years ago. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Whoa! Woody! Naily! You're alive? Yeah? That's awesome! But why are you running down the stairs so fast? Lava's chasing us from above! Why are you running up the stairs so fast? Because Lava's chasing us from below! Oh shoot! Um... Whoa! 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 Deprecated garbage chute! We could try it, but it's all boarded up. No big deal! I love breaking things! Toss me over! Whee! Great! <laughs> you <laughs> I got it off, guys! Wait! Whoa. Rest in peace, Corny. That slot is too narrow. There's no way I could fit through. Me neither. But Woody, if you flip on your side, I think you could make it. Oh, wow! Yeah, Woody. Looks like it's the end of the line for us. But you gotta keep going. We believe in you, Woody. I bet you'll find paradise at the end of the garbage chute. Whoa, wow! I wish we could go with you too, but we just won't fit! I know you can do this. Sorry, Woody, but the love is getting close. There's no time left. We gotta throw you. Remember us, okay? Emerald, so uh, is up for elimination. Get off my plane. Now. Oh no, my dear teammates. It appears this repellent can has run dry. Ah! Vote in the comments. Mm -hmm. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Wendy's is open until midnight or later. So give in to those cravings. Get that Baconator. Give me one honk if you want a Baconator. <laughs> Let me get that paint paint for six strips of bacon. Oh, there it is. When I say bacon, you say eight or bacon. Woo! Let me get a toot on the mega. All right. Uh, okay. Now, when I say... <laughs> Dude. Sorry. When the craving strikes, go night mode and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Baconator. Mr. Leonard, don't work too late now. Just closing up. Nothing much happens around here after dark.
thing here. Would excuse me kill you? Oh, great. Now I forgot where I was going. Listen up, fat cat burglar. I'm giving you one last chance to hand him over before I cash in your coupons for you. It is you, the great Dex detective, who's about to take a fall. Or should I say, be pushed. If I had a raisin for every time I've heard that one. Exterminate him! Hey, hairless hamsters. Want some of this? Uh -huh. oh. My mother would be so ashamed. Okay, it's just you and me, fat cat. Now fork over the little guys and no one gets hurt. Never. I'm sending you to the cooler, burglar. I'm gonna kill you! No! No! Stop! You wouldn't! I just want to be loved. Is that so wrong? Shopper here. This makes 500 consecutive cases you've solved as head of the United Supermarket Defense Association. What's your secret, darling? The secret's inside. The real secret is I am scared out of my mind, Dan. Tonight's the night. Ah, no worries. You can do it. As long as you got me to help you. Did I mention me? What do you think? Whoa, what the... You get four carrots? What did you do about the food bank? Yeah, but do you think she'll like it? What if she doesn't like it? Relax, bro. We're talking about sunshine goodness. You could give her a Cracker Jack ring and she'd still say yes. Everything's got to be just perfect tonight. Now, you sure you know what to do? You think you're talking to? Come on. I'm your best friend, Daredevil Dan. The most stunt-flying, death-defying, chocolate-like. One more thing. Will you be my best man? That's... This is... I didn't know. Oh, uh, you... You bet your box top. You my man. Sunshine, over here! Good kick! Way to go, buddy! Oh, you guys are doing great! You're melon ball superstars! That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Dude's lost a step. For real. Hungry, tough guy? Hiya, kitten. How about we get Chef Boyardee to make us a huge feast among us dinner? My treat. Oh, pizza! Great idea! Hey, I'll take an extra... Gotta fly. See you later, Danny. Sunshine. Or we could play stickball with Mr. Clean. Well, uh, actually, I scanned, or, I mean, planned something or something special tonight mm, let me guess 
A romantic, hot air balloon ride, perhaps. Oh, no, you just did that. Was it scary up there with those itsy bitsy hairless hamster henchmen? I would have tussled with them myself. Really? Don't believe me? Listen, Sherlock. Just because every Ike in town relies on you to protect them doesn't mean that I couldn't kick your butt. Anytime. <laughs> you want some? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it warms my heart the way you love my raisins, tough guy. <laughs> Royal crispy wraps, eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only two ninety nine. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. We're going to Greece. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. A lot has happened since my big fat Greek wedding. Like I never left. Woo. My father passed away, and his last wish was for us to visit his childhood village and reconnect with our roots. So, we're having a reunion. We're going to Greece. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. And by we, I mean oh, the whole family. Oh. Who wants souvlaki? Paging souvlaki. Anybody by the name of souvlaki on this flight? Aristotle, what? I didn't know you were going to be here. What are you doing here? I had an amazing date. She ghosted him. You are the Portocalos family. We are related through your papa's papa, who was married to my great, great Yaya sister, sister in law. I want Bula. I will be your favorite. I promised my dad I would find his best friends. I know them. Do they still live here? No. How do we find them? They will come for the reunion. Did they tell you they're coming? No. There's no other bedrooms. Family sleepover. <laughs> this is one reunion. <laughs> we'll never forget. Do you know these men? No. I am surprised. But I am not surprised. Because I'm never surprised. You lost me. We dreamt about Aristotle last night. Hey! How did you know? Greek voodoo. Bam! I remember your story. I really need to find my dad's friends. Angelo and I are on it. Okay, bye. Let's do it! I'm calling it. You got us back to Greece. You're the head of the family now. Yeah, I can't really day drink like this. Don't worry, a lady is never drunk. <laughs> Pick the one we have for dinner. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. No. We got these families. Royal crispy wraps, eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only two ninety nine. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And be have it your way. Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl With yellow feathers in her hair And a dress cut down her ass She would merengue and do the cha-cha And while she tried to be a star Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor They worked from eight till four They were young and they had each other Who could They fell in love Copa, Copa, 
His name was Rico. He wore a diamond. He was escorted to his chair. He saw Lola dancing there, and when she finished, he called her over. But Rico went a bit too far. Tony sailed across the bar, and then the punches flew, and chairs were smashed in two. There was blood and a single gunshot, but just who shot who at the Copa? Copa Cabana, the hottest spot north of Havana. At the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. She lost her love. Her name is Lola. She was a showgirl, but that was 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Now it's a disco, but not for Lola. Still in the dress she used to wear, faded feathers in her hair. She sits there so refined and drinks herself half blind. She lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she's lost her mind at the Cobra, Cobra Cabana. The hottest spot north of Havana at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. Don't fall in love. Don't fall in love. He's got caviar, filets mignons, and an outstanding array of fruits and vegetables. Stay away from the Brussels sprouts. And forget about it. For dessert, we got... Mmm, ice cream, my favorite. You want a lick? Yes. No, no, no. Ah, oh, Jax, this is so great. Sunshine, you mean the world. What? You mean the world to me. Maximilius! Hey! likes you too. Oh, you means her. I just want to take care of you, baby. I do feel so safe in your arms, and I'm so proud of you, Dex. But I worry when you're on a dangerous case. I'll be fine. Have to be. To make sure nothing bad ever happens to you. Always, Dex. Forever, kitten. Here goes. Sunshine. It's time for doll face boss! <laughs> ah! He's gonna crash again! It looks like Danny's drawing a picture. Of us! That's so cute! But what's he trying to draw in your hand? What I've been trying to ask you all night. Oh no, he's not gonna try to. Gotta loop the loop to make the engagement ring. For fine out loud, never made the loop the loop. No problem, cause I'm gonna do the day and fly away. Come on, Danny, you can do it this time. Sunshine. the day and. Not today. I better go 
check on Danny just to make sure he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. Dan always crashes. Like yesterday, for example, and the day before. And... When in doubt, just do the right thing, and it'll always turn out. But I was trying to ask you... Don't worry. It'll just be a minute. Save my ice cream. I'll be right back, okay? I don't understand it. Sunshine went to check on you right after the crash. No, I told you, dog. I didn't crash. I just... That was hours ago. Where is she? Come on, man. You know Sunshine? Sweetest Ike in the Marketropolis? She probably ran into a friend and needed a help. Why didn't I just do it? Come on, it's getting late. I, I mean early. You know our rules. We gotta be out of sight before the market opens. We can't let the people see us. But I never got to ask her to walk down the aisle with me. Chill, dog. You can pop the question tomorrow night. <laughs> Don't worry. It ain't like it's the last time you're ever gonna see sunshine again. <sighs> sunshine, baby. May I help you? You must be Leonard, the manager. I'm your new brand X representative. I wasn't expecting any new products. A corporate picture store to test the new brand X detergent. With Alexa. Brand X, huh? Never heard of it. Give us one week. Your customers won't know how they live. With our brand of hats. But everything is so nice the way it is. We don't have space. Oh, I'll make space. Wait until you get up. With of our brand X elixir, it's practically addictive. <laughs> It was a perfectly good bag of chips. Survival of the fittest, Leonard. Never opened, never enjoyed. No one wastes me chips and gets away with it. Brand X will pay. Arrgh. Megan, weren't you? Hey, buddy, look, I miss it too. But dude, it's been six months. Sunshine's gone, bro. We gotta accept it. Ooh. I can't. I failed her. Yo, it wasn't your fault. You you kept this place running smooth as a smoothie and all of us safe. Just just look at all these articles talking about all the millions of cases you solved. Oh yeah? What about these? Raisin riddle a mystery. Leads dry as prunes. Sunshine goodness, gone without a trace. Dex dog detective hangs up his hat. The only case that ever really mattered, and I couldn't solve it. Now she's gone. Sunshine. My only sunshine. Okay, so your detective days are over. Kaput. But now, brother, you got a club to run. And you can bet the Copa Banana's gonna be buzzing tonight. Everybody's gonna be talking about how Crispy's bag got crunched. Anyway, uh, you want a lift? I got my wings right outside. Fly with you? I'm sad, but I'm not crazy. Okay, you cool? See you tonight. Yeah, thanks, pal. Whoa! It's just not the same without you, sunshine.
nuts. I can provide you with a backstage pass to the Copa Banana. But, <laughs> my flightless feathery friend, you don't appear to have the correct coupons for such a pricey purchase. Excuse me, Cheezle Weasel, sir, but uh, I seem to be casting a draft up here. Let him go, Cheezle. Dex, what a pleasant surprise. Not so fast, Mr. Detective. Wait, wait. If perhaps you desire a companion for those <laughs> lonely bachelor nights, then here's good news. I am the weasel for you. Names don't ring no bells. From Paul, a penguin ice queen. Is it just me? Or is anyone else called? Put a dress on me and call me Shirley. You softy, you. I love this guy. If you're ever in front of food with that bomb tech of, you've got a friend. That's a nice night. Watch the tail. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at the table. I'm stuck in the stuck in a box. It's so disgusting. Oh. like the Dairy Queen to you. And besides, haven't you had enough? It sure does a body good. Get a life. Oh, I'm worried about him. <laughs> Crush me bags, Willie. I'll make Brandex pay, I will. It's hard to lose something you care about, Cap. Uh, you better go easy on the potato juice before you get... Chip-faced. Yo, Dex, check it out! We got us a hot new delivery, the brand next detergent like Lady X, and she's got a real sweet tooth for chocolate! Help me out in wow. The cat me out. The kaboom in pow. And I'm here right now. Wow! That's a hello when you feel your heart go like a bass drum. Boom, boom, boom. You'll remember the snap for the rest of your life. Smell my sweet perfume Hip, so hip From my head to my toes to my fingers Hip in all the supermarkets in all the world. She had to walk into mine. Dex Dog Detective. I've already heard so much about you. I don't gossip. My favorite kind. <laughs> that scent. Something familiar. My secret ingredient. You like it? It's amazing. Yo, baby! <laughs> Who's your sugar daddy? <laughs> Hands up. Hold your anchor! There be something dirty about this detergent. 
Now, is that any way to talk to a lady? You got something to say, Candy Arse? Yeah, salt lick, you can kiss my additives. We're not leaving till this here wench tells us why her rep stomped me poor bag. Is it really my fault you have inferior packaging? Yeah, bro, you ain't exactly new and improved. Spuds for you. <laughs> Let me help you. You are a good eye. Suddenly, I hate you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know what comes over me. <laughs> but it's like this. Ah, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. Watch the eyes. Watch the eyes. Back in the tree. Back in the Party's over. Time to banana split out of my club. And what about me? You hanging me out to dry? I'm not sure what to do with you. Come on, baby. Dance your man. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. What can I say? Chicks dig chocolate. Chicks dig chocolate! I told you! I knew it! <laughs> Some dog detective you turned out to be. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. Why did I agree to run the United Supermarket Defense Association? Things were so much smoother when Dex was in charge. Oh, Dex, Dex, thank goodness you're here. The salts and sugars. Oh, it must have been all out war. How many Ikes went down? Everybody we threw out of the friggin' banana. Dan and Lady X is the only ones missing. And the lady's got an alibi. Dex and I were just talking. I warned him there might be trouble. We all knows when a product loses its icon, it spurls. It goes bad. So what can we do here? Nothing. We're the soul of our products. Without us, they're gone. Fast. Oh, just, These Ikes you. didn't expire in a rumble. Somebody just wants it to look that way. Are you saying what I think Shoes is saying? Riga Moldus has set in. Looks like all these poor Ikes were rubbed out. Yo, oh, but why? How? Who? Dan. Oh, goodness gracious, great He said he was gonna get back at the salt. Dan would never do anything like this. We have to find him before the rest of the salts do! And you better start styling, Harry. Right! What? Me? I can't! Oh, you have to help me, Dex, before I go bald! Not that bald isn't beautiful! I don't get involved anymore. After losing sunshine, boss, I thought you would never smile again. But Dan, he was there for you. My, my split ends! What to do? Oh, no. Nothing harder than seeing good food go bad. Looks <laughs> like we arrived just in time. Brand X replacements for every Ike lost last night. Now, how'd that Mr. Clipboard guy know? Something's wrong. Danny's in trouble. I just know it. I let you down, sunshine. I just can't throw in the paper towel on Dan. He was your best friend, too. I call this session of the United Supermarket Defense Association to order! The USDA must come to order! Why is everyone screaming? This only concerns the sugars and the salts! 
Not anymore. General X, our esteemed potato chip icon, has just discovered a diabolical plot against cleaning product ice. Security around here! He's down the drain -o. And who is behind this vicious plan? Who? Oh, oh, boy! A specialty, Ike. Kung Tofu! But I, a Kung Tofu, am innocent! Everything's out of control! What are we going to do? Well, <laughs> Brand X is 30 strong now. This is our new home. We want to help. Why not let my Ikes maintain order in the aisles? Why you? Dexter Detective always mopped up our troubles, Gabish. Let's get him to come back. He quit. But I will never give up. Because I care what happens to each and every Ike of you. But it's so dangerous. Don't cry for me, Charlie Tuna. Trust me. Brand X will make everything better. You have my promise. We will take care of you. But what about Dex? Oh, we'll take care of him, too. <sighs> the lady wants the dog detective. Perhaps he's been very, very bad. No problem, if you weren't so desperately deficient with your coupon dispersals. Oh, I could just kill you. That would be lots of fun. More fun than a spanking. Wait, uh, wait. The dog detective will be dropped off at the cleaners post haste. Speaking of clean, might I <laughs> interest you in a toothbrush? Uh, I fear this will not end. Happily for me. Everybody seems to be searching for the flying squirrel. Mayhaps a reward for the reckless rodent would be in the offing? If you've got something up that slimy sleeve, spill the beans. Perhaps I do, and perhaps I don't. I seem to be suffering from a touch of train-induced amnesia. Tricks are for kids, Cheezle. Last night, I saw the chocolate furball heading towards the detergent aisle. You know, home of the lovely Lady X. When? Right after the screaming started. Those suspicious... No way. I know, Dan, he'd never leave the scene of a crime. Not even for a hot dish like Lady X. But this dish is extra spicy. It just doesn't add up. Wait, wait. May I suggest a calculator? Lucky for you, I just happened to have procured a boatload of fine... say things are going exactly how you expected. How about joining me in a warm rinse? I'm not that dirty. Oh, but being filthy can be loads of fun. Don't you think so, Dex? Some stains you can never wash out. Let's try. I want to scrub your bubbles, Dex. I want to know how you rubbed out all those ikes last night. Me? But I was with you. 
Remember? Yeah, trying to get me on the case before there even was one. Who put her hand? Hey for the hair! Naughty dog. I've really been on your mind, haven't I? You've orchestrated this dance from the start. I think you hijacked Dan and you've got him squirreled away somewhere. My friend better be alive, or you're gonna check out of this store the hard way. You crushed him, he's fine. For now. But he won't be unless you back Brand X. So that's your game. We could run this store, Dex, and I'll all to ourselves, pack tight, no markdowns for us. I could be your sunshine. There will never be another sunshine. Now I'm taking you in. Not before I solve your case for you. Down, boy! Ah! What a shame. We could have been like macaroni and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, scotch and tape. Dex, wake up! Come on, Dex, wake up! Uh, Dan? Dex, my man! I knew you'd sniff me out! Oh. You okay, pal? Is your chocolate chip? It was brutal! She has these, these giant flying mother XL bites that slotted every Ike in sight! But they didn't rub me out because Lady X digs my fine flavor and also sweet bun! Or maybe she used you as bait to get to me. Oh, like you're the only Ike who can rescue me, figure out her game, and shut it down! Uh, oh, yeah, you are. Too late. Not even the great Dex dog tempted can save you now. <laughs> oh. Dex, is it just me, or is it hot in here? After they've enjoyed the extra hot dry cycle, we dump their bodies in the toothpaste aisle. The frame toothpaste, no? Everyone knows toothpastes hate sugars. <laughs> We're done soft soaping. Frame everybody. From spray starch to slice salami, from calories to carbs. Then Brand X will step in and replace them all. It'll be a cakewalk. We're taking over, so get out there and show oh. them who's running this store. But I, Kung Tofu, Fu, am innocent. What's that got to do with it? I don't get it. I don't understand. I mean, we simply don't care. I am hot! I'm hot, hot, hot! Go to fry! Stay calm. Go to crisp. We just gotta find a way to get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just breathe and focus. The answer will come. What? The answer will come! I'm melting and you're getting all martial arts scent! You can put a socks! Socks! That's it. Socks always escape from the dryer. Follow that sock. Okay, pal, you're safe now. Yo, 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 wait, whoa, time out. Where are you going? Look, Dan, I just came to find you, but that's oh. it. I yeah, 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 don't want to get involved no more. Gotta check, but you might want to take a look at this first. Robotic exobites. What's that oily liquid? Yo, I seen that. It's the same stuff they shot at the crispy and the other Ikes when they rubbed them out. They must be planning to finish what they started last night. Brand X is gonna take over the entire store. Come on, let's get him. I'm ready to roll. You with me? Let's hit this. I ain't afraid. Well, I am. You are? Really? Why? You don't understand. I don't know if I can cut the mustard anymore. Yo, Dex, you gotta believe in yourself. If Sunshine were here, she would. You know, I do have an idea. Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Dex Dog Detective is back in the house. But it's really, really, really dangerous. Oh, 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 hold up. Uh, how come you said really three times? I never heard you say that. I've heard really dangerous and really, really, but this is three times. Come on, pal. Let's snap, crackle, and pop out of here. 
Attention all icons. Curfew is now in effect. Only Brand X officials are permitted in the aisles. All violators will be punished. I do so hope there are violators. I love a good violation. I love anything to do with violation. <laughs> What in the what is going on? We need you to analyze this. I borrowed it from Lady X. I think it's the secret ingredient in the Brand X Brand elixir. Brand X! Oh! Brand X! Oh, why me? Why? Why Brand X? Why? No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Why not, uh, let's see. Ooh, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Scholes, Dr. Feel Good. Anybody doc, doc, but doc, me. Doc, out of it. You're the only one with a nose for the job. God! <laughs> Ew! Oh, this is just great. Okay. I'll give it a whiff. It <laughs> can't be done. Oh, why me? Uh, what's going on? We have reports that you're plotting against sugars. Me? I don't even have fluoride. I'm just a whitener. Well, you know, I myself appreciate a good darkener. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's not right. That, that's odd. That, that's definitely odd. My olfactor meter can't, uh, can't fully identify the main ingredient. Oh, no, this I can tell you. The brand X elixir is uh, toxic to humans and we're uh, toxic. Oh, oh, and highly addictive. Whoa, addictive. Addictive? Okay, so that explains why customers are buying up Brand X products like crazy. How can we regular icons compete against against, against this irresistible elixir? We can't. Won't be long, and the whole store will be X. The rest of us discontinued. Oh, but there's so many noses left to blow it. Oh, I'm man. too young to be discontinued. I never even got a chance to play lick the icing with sweet cakes. If we could just get this info to our market's corporate headquarters, they'd have to recall Brand X. How could you possibly reach them? You couldn't. You could email from Mr. Leonard's computer. But it's in the expiration station. And at the other end of the store, now you'd never make it there before the supermarket opens. You couldn't, you could try, but you can't reach them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Impossible! Then we cross during the day. Daytime? No one has ever done that, are you crazy? What about all those humans out there? The ones with the big feet, they're never supposed to squash, I mean, see us during the daytime. We'll be killed! But not that I can't handle that, because I can. Because I'm a natural ninja. We won't survive another night against Brand X. It's our only shot. It's daytime! Oh, oh, daytime! Oh, this is bad. We must have lost hundreds of Ikes last night. Come on, pal. Let's get going before we lose any more. Wow, the Jello! Are we supposed to cross over ten aisles of that? If the next thing you hear is clean up on aisle one, you know we blew it. The next thing you're going to hear to be the sound of me eating you for the lunch. The next thing you're going to hear is the me eating you for lunch. <laughs> Look, you overstocked, overstuffed lunch lizard. My friend Dex, he'll make you stutter with your butter. You won't survive his chives. Are you crazy? She's huge. Let's strawberry jam out of here. Ah! No, Larry, I am not buying that for you! <laughs> Miss me? <laughs> wait, 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 stop! We could, you know, maybe try to date a bit? A, a movie? A, a lunch? I kill you! Dance! Batter up, boo! <laughs> Where you go, my chipmunk? I love you! Dare the day in! Mayday! Mayday! <laughs> To warn the other Ikes, Brand X is behind the rub outs. Bring as many Ikes as you can to the banana tonight. And thanks, Polar. Back with Friend the Four. The store is closed. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Trust me. I mean, I'm no math major or anything, but then we're gonna hit the door. We'll be fine. No way. We're gonna hit. We'll make it. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> oh, see? See? I told you we'd make it. You didn't want to listen to me, right? <laughs> we the bug bomb, bro. We... What? Yo, I never should have tried the chip slap crispy. You can't blame yourself, Dan. It's the... Exobite! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! What are you, crazy? You hit someone up here. You think it's duck season? Do I look like a mallard? Hold on. Hold the line. Is that the enticing scent of rich, creamy chocolate? Are you chocolate? Are you made of chocolate? Really? That is so sweet. Hi. Oh! oh! Vlad Chocul, chocolate vampire, used to have cards. <laughs> Do you work out? I use the thigh master. You're looking pretty good for biting it. Excuse me, but they poisoned me like the other Ikes, okay? It's not my fault, but... Again with this, what can I tell you? I am the undead, all right? The undead. You know, you, you, you're not dead, but you're not exactly living either. It's sort of like being in summer school. <laughs> oh, come on, that's funny. Now, that's funny. Let's not lose our senses of humor. Mandatory security rally tonight. All icons must attend or face the penalty of elimination. How can I help? Upload? Download? Scan? Blue, we're gonna get corporate to recall Brand X. Can you bring up a form? Wait, don't tell me. Bittersweet. Do you go out much, by the way? Because I like to dance a little myself. I dance a bit. This instant glue will seal their tomb. <laughs> Lovely word. Tomb. <laughs> Locking us in. What? In, in here? With, with him? Hey, 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 back off! I'll work with Blue. You fly around and check for loose vent grates. Have you flipped your flapjacks? They would have glasses they don't need. Would you fly straight? Ow! 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 Oh, golly, that hurt. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Good. Good plan. Maybe we'll just dent our way out of here. Ow! Maybe my eyes aren't that good, but if you would just let me lead. Well, the phrase isn't blind as an eagle, is it? No, it's blind as a bat. What do you think I am? And with you on my back yet? Not that I mind that. Scanning forms. Only two recalls on file. Priscilla Pusley's genetically gigantic prunes. What kind of fool needs a bigger prune? We coming up to something? Nobody. Priscilla had the worst sales in store history. Okay, I guess I'll be the bad guy once again and say what everyone's thinking. She's also hideous. <laughs> no, I mean, come on, she's very unattractive. Because she is, she's a prune. What do we expect from her? Why are we shy about these things? Be what you are, that's what I say. In her case, it's horrible. <laughs> and here is the other recall. Sunshine recalled? Who ordered it? No name, address only. Same location as Priscilla Pusley's recall. That's impossible. Sunshine and Priscilla had different manufacturers. Blue, run a search on that address against all the manufacturers on file. Brand X ordered both the recalls. Dex, I just don't get it. Brand X took my sunshine away. Easy, easy, bro. I know how you feel. No, no one can. Not even you. Okay, but look, you gotta stay focused, or Brand X gonna take everything else you love, too. Not while I'm still breathing. Blue, we have to send the form to recall all of Brand X's products. Pull the plug on these traitors. The Brand X. <laughs> Sending now. What happened? Do you all see it get darker, too? Oh, good. For a second, I thought I was having this. What well, mood lighting, though. You devil talk. Look um, at you. Dex? Brand X must have killed the power. But, but the email went through, right? Maybe. But now we can't count on headquarters coming to save us. But you said we ain't gonna survive the night unless headquarters gets rid of Brand X. I don't understand. I don't get it. So what do we do now? Fight. 
Come on, let's get up to that vent and over to the Copa Banana. The oven timer's ticking. There are only two kinds of product icons. A desirable, like me. And undesirable. We must send all the undesirables where they belong. The expiration station. Better hope Polar brings a banana boatload of Ikes to the Copa tonight. Look around. Do you see an Ike with an inferior product? Turn in the undesirables. Join Grand X for a better way of life. Oh, I didn't do any jeepers. There must be some mistake. Hey, hey, wait, where are you taking me? From this day forward, you must prove you are desirable. Soon we will become the model of excellence until the entire world is just like us. One store, one X. One store. Well, but if the boss don't get here soon, we can all... Dex Dog Tattoo has been discontinued. And unless you care to suffer a long, cruel expiration, you will sing your allegiance to Brand X. Brand X, Brand X, it's simple and plain. Brand X, Brand X, it's different but all the same. Brand X, Brand X, it's simple and plain. Brand X, Brand X, it's different but all the same. We want to hear you sing with feeling. I am not the Brand X icon. Je suis Francois Fromage. I shoot less oh. at you, you big weenie-like loser. Don't get smart, cheese ball, or I'll shred you alive. Somebody to be helping me? The cavalry? The rescue? No? Play it. What boss? I said, play it. <laughs> Go tell the lady this is still my club. And you and your lousy jingle aren't welcome. We will return to pulverize you all. <laughs> pulverizing! <laughs> I love pulverizing. Hey, I knew they couldn't discontinue you. Now without a fight. We have the resistance cornered. We will take no prisoners.
Let's do it. We will show no mercy. We've all lost someone. A friend, a neighbor, someone we love. But we can't fight for the way things were, only for the way things should be. Together, we can stop this tyrant. Now, who's with us? I'm with you guys, but could somebody please turn up the heat? <laughs> we're with you all the way, boss. All right, then. Let me show you what I've got in mind. We will exterminate them all! One world, one X, no Dan, no Jack! So, we'll need all the aluminum foil in the store. And that, my friends, is one-stop shopping. Le Brandex comes! Le Brandex comes! This is it. We stop Brandex here tonight. Or it's this store. Then another, till they spread like mold around the world. We have to defend ourselves and people everywhere. Remember our oath to protect and serve ourselves! I have the dirty dog. Cookie Isle, go! Come and get me, baby. Attack and annihilate! Yes, He's on the roof! Get him! Here goes. Marshmallows. What? It's hot chocolate.
bad. Dex dog detective. For soon, I'll have you sitting up and begging for mercy. Exobites, fly! <laughs> <laughs> with the gigantic deadly stingers, and, and there's a ton of them, and, and they want to kill me. And Strudel is what I think about Darth and myself. Fry their eggs! Familius, phase two, go! Maybe I shouldn't have already eaten that last donut. Food goes right to my butt. It's okay, Maximilius. Being able to do fun things like eating donuts is what we are fighting for. But you might want to keep it under, like, 40 at a time. But who's are we gonna find to slithers and filthy slime through the sewers, go into enemy territory, and cut the power lines to start the lightning storm? Ah, slither and slime? It would appear you are in need of a professional. How do we know you're not with Brand X? According to the lady, I am the poster boy for undesirable icons. You know, boss, if you don't mind the suggestion, we could fight fire with fire. Welcome to the war, Weasel. It is far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. Well, you gotta admit, that's not saying much. Oh! Note yourself. New friends not working out. We will stand for what is right. Never back down from the fight.
happening? You lied to me. Lied to you? That's not true. I did no more than you let me do. You handed me this store on a party platter. Frog's legs for dinner. He knows their plan, but refuses to talk. No, no, no. I'll no, no, take no, no. that. that boy. Then he won't talk to anyone. Ever again. Knife coming, boss. Enough! I don't like her. She's very mean. Careful, fairy. You value what little hair you have left. What's the point of luxurious locks if you can't look yourself in the mirror? <laughs> Oh, my goodness! Let him go! He'll be exterminated like the rest of them! No one puts Polar in the freezer. I'm marking you down, Shrimp Toast. Wait! It wasn't my fault. I was just following orders. I don't even like her. Lady X promised she would make me tall and thin. Then you finally got your wish. I'm gonna pop your corn, lady. Roll over, Doc Detective. You're mine. So what is it? It's a preservative. Okay, imagine the chemical opposite of a preservative, huh? Yeah? One dose causes a victim to spoil in his own unique way. A cookie crumbles, ice cream gets freezer burn. Oh, chips, chip, crackers, crack. Aluminum is foiled, don't you see? Snot happens. This is a big booger we're bouncing into even. I get the picture. We need an antidote. Fast. Damn it, Dex. I'm a nose doctor, not a miracle worker. Go. What is with this guy? He's always asking me to do the impossible things. I can't do the impossible things. If I could do them, they wouldn't be possibly impossible. I'm fine. Nobody saw that. All the lightning rods are in place. I guarantee it. Well, pretty guaranteed. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. I can't guarantee it. Well, I'm because my eyes aren't that good. I don't see that well. But my heart's in the right place, if I had one. Now phase two is up to Cheezle the Weasel. That idiot? I mean, fantastic. I'll go check again. Easy, Dan, easy. And phase two ain't gonna work. Not with all those exobites swarming. There's, there's just too many of them. They're refueling their poison inside the Brand X building. Can you fly me over Lady X's Isle? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Except I don't have a death wish. If I can cut off their poison supply, maybe we can turn this thing around. They suppose you make it in. There's no way you'll get out. It's suicide. Like Sunshine always used to say, when in doubt, just do the right thing and you can't go wrong. Yeah, man, but 
I don't want to lose you too. Hey, pal, you're the one who convinced me to get back in the game. You never stopped believing in me, even when I stopped believing in myself. That's because you're the best. But if you go in there, you ain't coming out. Don't do it, Dex. You should be here with us. I should have been with you the whole time. But after Sunshine, I just gave up. I let you all down. I know now that my problems are just a hill of coffee beans compared to our store, our world, our family. If I don't make it back, I'm counting on you to take my place, pal. Me? No, I can't. You can do it, Dan. I believe in you. This place won't be the same without you. I won't be. The secret's inside, old buddy. You'll be just fine. So, am I flying or am I walking? All right. Let's win this sucker! Start in an electrical lightning storm. We pull lightning rods on all our buildings to keep them safe. Brand X don't have lightning rods, so it gets destroyed. A true spark of genius. The boss is a regular Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, and, uh, who's Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin with the key and the kite, the lightning. Yeah, the... What aisle is he in? Eh, forget about it. goods I'm not the one who's gonna be puppy whipped you cold farted itch exterminate them both her first make him watch his sunshine fade away with great pleasure okay then I'll just leave you to it That only worked in movies. Raven's Dance? Oh. Whoa. 
Well, this isn't very much fun, is it? I think I just wet myself. It feels rather nice. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were. I'm here. We're together. My world is whole again, kitten. I never stopped believing in you, Dex. And I always kept you close to my heart. My big tough guy. What have they done to you? Brand X took my essence. Of course. The perfume smell. That's why it was familiar. The secret ingredient in their elixir. The evil ex turned your sweetness, your goodness, into something vile. The whole thing could go any minute. As long as I'm with you, nothing else matters. Only one way he can make it in time. Not the... Yes, kitten. The loop-de-loop. -loop. He's never pulled it off. Come on, Dan. Be the man. You gotta be. For them. You can do it, pal. Just believe it. Believe in yourself. Come on. That's it, Dan. The loop-de-loop. -loop. Well, he'll get it this time. I know he will. Find Lady X. I've got a bone to pick with this guy. No, Dex! You can't! Not a human! You'll be crushed! I'll be fine. Have to be to make sure nothing bad ever happens to you. Maximilius! Lola! Let's bring him down. You got it, boys. Me comprendo big time heavy! Job. It's checkout time. You pompous pipsqueak. I'll stomp you into oblivion. I was hoping you'd say that. I'll crush your little friends into icons, too. can this be happening? Don't you recognize me, Dog Detective? Sunshine's old neighbor? Priscilla? From Priscilla Pusley's genetically giant prunes? But you were recalled. And butt ugly. Quick trip to Brazil for a little plastic surgery, and then back for my revenge. So you built yourself a human robot and recalled Sunshine, then you stole her essence to make your elixir for Brand X. Why? All anyone ever wanted was that Sweet sunshine goodness. Two months I sat on the shelf next to Little Miss Perfect. No one bought my beautifully genetically giant prunes. But how did you get in and out of the store? You're an Ike. Humans. When you look like this, you can get them to do anything. Size only counts for men. Clever plan, Puss. But Brand X is being recalled. You'll never get me. I still have my elixir. I'll be back. But enough about me. Let's kill you! Yo, dog! Put your guard up! Sugar smack upside a prune head! Put your arms... Forget about it. Boss oh. will never, ever hit a dame. Tell me something. Uh, are those melons real? 
He should put in Papa one. That ain't his M.O. Forget about it. He won't hit her. Not now, not never. But I will. The bimbo's mine. Get ready, lady, because I'm going to kick you where the sun don't shine. Bring it on. Let's go. You're not so tough now. Chip slapped her back the ugly. Gross. It doesn't have to end like this. All I ever really wanted was you. Well, you and world domination. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a spam. Oh, the indignity of it all. Dan, wrap her up and take her to the expiration station for recall with the rest of Brand X. I heard that was a resistance. <laughs> Call me fashionably late. You may be mostly fluff, Harry, but the rest of you is pretty strong stuff. Oh, I'm off. Quick calm down and a shot of Toodly Pip. Nice work, everybody. Dex, Dex, Dex! I found an antidote to the deservative. It should bring all the Ikes back to life. Oh, Joy, let's give it a whiff, huh? I knew you'd save me, friend. <sighs> My, but it's still joy. Oh, Dex, I'm so proud of you. You saved us all. We saved each other because the secret is inside. Inside all of us. <laughs> all right. See, things really turned out perfect. The good old days are back. With one change, I hope. Sunshine, will you marry me? <sighs> yes, Dex. <laughs> Anytime that things go wrong, we can work it out. We've been waiting now that we're married. I want to see what's under that hat. I love you, kitten. We see things so much clearer. I'm so glad now. There, I almost felt a tear, but uh, must have been that red on you. Uh, this is all so beautiful. Uh, why are you afraid to express your emotions? Just take a look around you. You're gonna see. Lots of love and smiling faces. Cut the cheese on that Lieutenant X? Marie, but that was just a monster. I was ready to cut loose a Limburger. You got flow. You got style. Que bueno hombre. Mm. Like a dream. Now that we I can dance a little, cut a rug. I'm uh, very light on my feet. Might surprise you.
this at the Dex. Dex, I'll take all the risks. I flung you into the belly of the beast, then I'll lead the troops into battle while, you know, just, just doing whatever you do. And it, hey, thanks, baby. And then I'll do that thing with the buildings. In other words, it was all me, basically. <laughs> hey, give me some sugar, sugars. Oh, 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 oh,
pull yourself up a chair. Big cherry! Put the fun begin, it's time to let down your hair. <laughs> TV show on its side, uh -huh. it's close when you've been invited. The so wacky TV play hat. Uh -huh. There's a crazy rhythm. We're going to Greece. Oh, yeah. A lot has happened since my big fat Greek wedding. Like I never left. My father passed away, and his last wish was for us to visit his childhood village and reconnect with our roots. So we're having a reunion. We're going to Greece. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. And by we, I mean oh, the whole family. Oh. Who wants so lucky? Paging Suvlaki. Anybody by the name of Suvlaki on this flight? Aristotle, what? I didn't know you were going to be here. What are you doing here? They had an amazing date. She ghosted him. You are the Portocalos family. We are related through your papa's papa, who was married to my great great yaya sister, sister in law. I'm Aunt Bula. I will be your favorite. I promised my dad I would find his best friends. I know them. Do they still live here? No. How do we find them? They will come for the reunion. Did they tell you they're coming? No. There's no other bedrooms. Family sleepover. <laughs> this is one reunion. <laughs> we'll never forget. Do you know these men? No. I am surprised, but I am not surprised because I'm never surprised. You lost me. Everybody say! We dreamt about Aristotle last night. Hey! How did you know? Greek voodoo. Bam! I remember your story. I really need to find my dad's friends. Angelo and I are on it. Okay, bye. Calling it. You got us back to Greece. You're the head of the family now. I can't really day drink like this. Don't worry, a lady is never drunk. <laughs> Pick the one we have for dinner. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. No. We got these families. Wendy's is open until midnight or later. So give in to those cravings. Get that Baconator. Give me one honk if you want a Baconator. <laughs> Let me get that bait bait for six strips of bacon. Oh, there it is. When I say bacon, you say ate or bacon. Woo! Let me get a toot on the mega. All right. Uh, okay. Now, when I say... <laughs> Dude. Sorry. When the craving strikes, go night mode and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Baconator. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. Tyler. Ah. My breakfast. Oh. If you want a better breakfast, you'll never forget. Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. I did it! I got in! In where? Some of my paintings are gonna be in an art gallery curated by Meryl McDurphy. Who's that? She's one of the most renowned painters in Canada. Well, how come I've never heard of her? Do you know any Canadian painters? Uh, the Furious Seven? Nope. What's so great about this gallery? Your stuff's already online. Yeah, but now people are gonna see it. I'm sharing the space with other rising stars in the Toronto art scene. Huh, must be a typo, because that doesn't say rising stars. Same thing. Anyway, it's on the 26th and admission is free. You guys want to come? Uh, uh I, I think we're busy that night. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to be buying detergent. Yeah, me too, me too. There are complimentary beverages. Yo, lock up the ladies and cover your face. Cause Cause look who showed, showed up in, in the, the gallery space. space. Yo, Katie, what's with the crazy hair? Are you trying to look like some fancy artist? No, actually, I'm trying to cover the rash from when you guys glued my head to the counter. Uh, All right, um, yeah, it, uh, you look very good. sophisticated. Hey, good to see you again. It's Sublo, right? The hungry submarine. And you're 
Ashley? Yeah, I'm one of Katie's roommates. Oh, I remember you from that party where Katie and Marvin... Don't talk about that! Just, just try not to embarrass me, okay? <sighs> How would we do that? <laughs> wow, I wasn't even close to a wall or anything. Uh, she's kind of stressed out tonight, but I'm glad you guys came. It's nice of you to support her. No problem. When we heard about them complimentary beverages, we were like, yo, get in on that. Yeah, let's get in on that. Are you related to one of the artists? No, I'm just her roommate. <laughs> right, so am I. Uh-huh. Uh, is it me or is this a lot of kids for a gallery opening? <laughs> well, that's the whole point, isn't it? Huh? Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Horace. <clears throat> uh, Katie Dilk, the artist. Horace Nichols, the accountant. <laughs> so, do you like what you see? Um, I would if I could. Huh? Wait, sorry, did, did you think I was flirting with you? No. I don't know, something's wrong with these plates. I can usually do it. Uh, Tangy Mustard, what's up? Yo! You know who would love this? My boy, Tito Skangle. Uh, don't fall my roommate. Hey, hey, sharing is caring. Yo, Tito! You gotta get down here. We're at Queen and Dover Coin. It's contemporary beverages. Yar! So, uh, Mr. Nichols, right? Are you enjoying the show? Yes, it's uh, it's got a great atmosphere. What are some of your favorite pieces? Oh, uh, I'm sure they're all good. Right, but if you had to pick, which ones would you say are the best? I, I can't see them. I'm blind. What? I'm just here to support my niece. What? Go home! Oh, uh, this one is the best! It's a, it's a hot dog. Yo, yo, the three of us should buy it. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it back to our place. <laughs> Where are we even gonna put it? Oh, I've got an idea. Man, this music sucks. I'm gonna go harass the DJ. Aha, uh -huh, a stock playlist. An event like this requires a dynamic soundtrack that evolves to match the energy as the night progresses. Miss Dilk? Yes? I'm Mary McDurphy. Um, I'm looking for your daughter. Oh, hi. It's an honor to meet you. Wait, what? Your daughter, Katie. Um, no, that's me. You're Katie Dilk? Yeah. I see. You made some very interesting choices. Have you ever thought about formal training? <laughs> wow, I'm flattered, but I don't know if I'm quite ready to teach yet. No, I meant maybe you should start with my beginner level art classes. Oh, so like I'd be your assistant until I'm ready to teach on my own. What I'm trying to say is I accepted your pieces into the show because I thought they were done by a child. Would you excuse me? Sorry, everybody. Uh, technical difficulties. What are you doing? People are finally taking me seriously as an artist, and you're going to ruin it. As an artist or a fartist? Okay, you need to leave. You're wasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. But do you notice anything missing? <gasps> no way! Somebody bought the hot dog! That's right! But people aren't supposed to take them yet. The art is on display for another week. Uh, I, I guess someone just couldn't wait. <laughs> well, whoever it was, I can't blame them. The hot dog is one of my best pieces. That's where I really started to feel ripples of a cohesive artistic identity in my work and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think your pieces are definitely the most mature. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. I, I feel like some of the other artists in here are just... Hey, what the... Huh? I asked that guy if he liked my work, and he said he was blind. <clears throat> Maybe he just didn't want to hurt your feelings. That's ridiculous. I can handle the truth. Uh, yeah, I... I know. Well, whatever. Meryl McDurphy thinks I'm good enough to be a teacher, and I sold a painting. So no matter how you look at it, tonight's a win for Katie. Oh, man, it's perfect. I told you it would work. It's a conversation piece and a footstool. That's the power of art. To art! To, to art. art! Oops. Huh? 
I don't get why we have to come with Woo Bomber for his conjugal visit. What are you talking about? He said he's taking us to the Gray Bar Hotel. What? He said the Gruber Hotel. Oh, I wasn't really listening. What the hell is the Gruber Hotel? It's just a hotel. Hey, uh, Mr. Woo Bomber, where exactly are we going? We're going to the Subpar Corporate Convention. At the Gruber Hotel? Uh, yeah, that's the one. I told you. I was half right. And you better be good boys, because they're giving you a performance evaluation. What? Wait, we're going to get tested? I relish the opportunity to reflect on my strengths and weaknesses. Shut up, no you don't. Cut out that whining or I'll find me some replacements at the convention. And quit straggling, that train is about to take off. Hey, what's that? Eh, just some train brochure. Oh, uh, where'd you get it? Ah, uh, hey, I want to see it. Should have grabbed one outside. This one's mine. Give it. No way. You boys don't stop squabbling. I will turn this train around and then nobody gets to go to the convention. But we don't want to go anyway. I do. I look forward to immersing myself in our company culture. But that's because you're a good boy, Taggy Mustard. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be seated in the restroom for the remainder of our journey. Oh, you're such a suck-up. You don't want to go either. I do. I can't wait for the subpar sirens. Sirens? What are you talking about? Five lovely ladies in subpar bikinis, and they love our characters, especially Tangy Mustard. Yeah, right. Where'd you hear about them? From Charlie. <laughs> that guy's full of crap. You won't say that when I'm surrounded by sirens. So, where are the sirens? Just wait. When we get in there, we're gonna pound more ass than a great Canadian mindbuster. What's wrong with you? I ask myself the same question. Dum dums, I gotta go prepare for the subpar sumo tournament. You boys go see the opening ceremony and uh, fill me in on Ladies the details later. Put your hands together for subpar CEO Jimothy Parr and the subpar sirens. Yo, it's them, they're real. I told you. Yo, settle down, Tony, mister. Good afternoon. Uh, I know that was we're it? all excited about revealing this year's new sandwiches, so let's get right down to business. First off, let's welcome back the spicy buffalo this is grilled lame. chicken sandwich. You want to go do something else? Yeah, Some let's go tweets. backstage with the with sirens. The yeah, you wish. <gasps> Wow, this thing has so many fun facts. Yo, did you know that the first sub bar was built that. on a native burial ground? Oh, I want that's it. interesting. And oh, hey, there's 942 locations around. Just the find the sirens. Okay, so there's a sumo tournament in Hall D. Ew, Woo Bomb was in there. There's uh oh, there's an improv show. Yo, ah. Look, it's Tangy Mustard and Subbo. Come join us! I told you, I told you! But we can't take off our costumes. We're safe, Woo Bomber's busy doing sumo. Come on, guys! We need two more players for water polo! Yo, that's a contact sport. <laughs> you know, we should actually be getting ready for our... Oh, that's cold! <laughs> we'll, we'll warm you up. <laughs> Come on, Sublo, we need one more player! <laughs> I, uh, uh, I don't... No, I'm gonna go study for this. I'll play with you fine, ladies! Oh, Mr. Woo Bomber, I thought you were wrestling. I was all set, but apparently this is not a regulation mawashi. Hey, where's Tangy Mustard? Oh, uh, he, uh... Uh, right here. Why are you all a soaking in the drippy form? I, uh, wet myself. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, anyway, you best be getting to your evaluation. It's at 5.30 p.m. What? Jeez, that's like right now. Thanks for telling us, Woo Bomber. Oh, Mr. Dick Wubala loves his water polo. Uh, okay, so we're headed for room 1109. 
Metz. That's a lot of us. Hi, I'm Subpar Geek Girl 96. Can we talk to you guys for a minute? Uh, no! I'm here at the Subpar Convention talking to a Sublo and Tangy Mustard pair. How are you guys liking the con so far? Uh, What's the best thing you've seen so far? Sirens. Are you guys going to the Subpar prom later today? Only if the sirens show up. Okay, thanks guys. This is Subpar Geek Girl 96 signing off for now. What the hell was that? Uh, snap out of it, man. We gotta do the evals. Woo! Thanks. My pleasure. Oh, come on. Let's just take the stairs. Is this where we do the evaluation? Go stand over there. Well, the look is wrong. Huh? Your costumes. They don't match the current character models. Oh, sorry. Uh, just get started. Show me your standard routine. Uh... <clears throat> Um, mm, sandwiches. Mm, mm. Uh, tasty. Fresh. Mm. Oh. All right, that's enough. Do you know how many sublows and tangy mustards I've seen today? Do you have any idea how many subpars are out there that I have to evaluate? Uh, I mean, realistically, I can't expect you all to be... There are 942 locations around the world and 305 in Canada. Wow, that's right. You really know your stuff. All right. Enjoy the rest of the conference, boys. Wait, we're done? Um, did we pass? Yep, congratulations. Yo, ah! <laughs> Bow before Sublo and Tangy Mustard, fool. You guys are all posers. We are the one true Sublo and Tangy Mustard. Sublo and Tangy Mustard. Four lives. <laughs> Overall, barely satisfactory. Barely, barely satisfactory. satisfactory. <laughs> Wendy's is open until midnight or later. So give in to those cravings. Get that Baconator. Give me one honk if you want a Baconator. <laughs> Let me get that paint paint for six strips of bacon. Oh, there it is. When I say bacon, you say ate or bacon. Woo! Let me get a toot on the mega. All right. Uh, okay. Now, when I say... <laughs> Dude. Sorry. When the craving strikes, go night mode and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Baconator. BK Royal Crispy Wraps Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack Only $2.99, it's a hunger hack And it fits in one hand And BK, have it your way Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl With yellow feathers in her hair And a dress cut down her there She would merengue and do the cha-cha And while she tried to be a star Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor They worked from eight till four They were young and they had each other Who could ask? No!
fell in love His name was Rico He wore a diamond He was escorted to his chair He saw Lola dancing there And when she finished He called her over But Rico went a bit too far Tony sailed across the bar And then the punches flew And chairs were smashed in two There was blood and a single gunshot But just who shot who At the Copa Copa Cabana The hottest spot north of Havana At the Copa Copa Cabana Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa She lost her love Her name is Lola, she was a showgirl But that was 30 years ago When they used to have a show, now it's a disco But not for Lola, still in the dress she used to wear Faded feathers in her hair, she sits there so refined And drinks herself half blind She lost her youth and she lost the Tony Now she's lost her mind at the Cobra Cobra Cabana The hottest Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. Tyler. Ah. My breakfast. Oh. If you want a better breakfast, you'll never forget. Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. Tyler. Ah. My breakfast. Oh. If you want a better breakfast, you'll never forget. Wendy's is that breakfast. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal.